Good evening, everyone. If you celebrated Mother's Day yesterday, happy Mother's Day to all our mothers that were on. I know we uh, certain parts of the world were celebrating yesterday, other parts were celebrating um, earlier in the year, maybe later in the year, but it's always fun to celebrate moms. And um, just a shout out to my own mom, just saying hi. I spent a lovely day yesterday with my sister-in-law and her family, and we're just really happy and grateful to be um, visiting them and just having some uh, really fun uh, time. For those of you who don't know, my daughter is graduating from university on Friday, and so that's why we're here and um, just really enjoying the really good weather. I don't know, you can't see in front of me, but I actually have a beautiful window right in front of me with lots of um, bright light, and you can see I'm sitting in natural light today, which I don't always do. And behind me, this is actually a very pretty railing in um, part of my sister-in-law's house, but one of the best places for light. So um, let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about skin. And I try to do a lot of hydration on my skin today. I look actually a little bit shiny. I don't know if you can see. Um, I just wanted you to make sure that you see that, honestly, hydration is the best thing for skin. And we're going to talk about head hydration from head to foot. So I grew up in a household where I was always taught skin, 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 take care of your skin. You're going to need it your whole life. And I've really obeyed, I have to say, that dictum. And not to say that I've never had a skin problem. I think that I have. And for me, um, usually it has to do with stress. So I immediately see stress coming out on my skin. And that's kind of my, if you will, my weak point. So um, I'm gonna keep the chat open for everybody who's saying hi. Um, if you're on here for the first time, please let us know. We'd really like to hear. We are, um, I'm coming live to you actually from Houston, Texas today. You know, I'm usually not here. I'm usually in New Jersey, but super excited to be here and to see everyone. If you're new, let me know um, in the chat. And if you're having any problems with sound or you can't hear the, the, you can't see or you can't hear, just let me know right away. Let me share my screen with you so we'll get started talking about skin right away. Um, I think skin is an amazing topic. I also think it's a great way for us to get started as we're, we're talking about mom. I don't know if you had a chance actually to um, uh, see your mom yesterday or talk to your mom or talk to her about skin, but I know every single time I see my mom, she always says, take care of your skin or your skin looks great. Or she'll even say to me something goofy like, daughter, your skin looks marvelous, which is kind of funny because it sounds so super formal. Um, part of my, um, my skin uh, regime, I'm going to tell you about in a little while, but I have to say skin is also genetic. So if you have genetics that are maybe working against you, we've got some tips for you. We will also want to nourish our skin from the inside out. So um, here we go. And I see a couple of you drinking water, which is always a terrific thing for your skin. Um, make sure that you're um, always hydrating, 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 because we do need to um, we do need to keep our skin looking hydrated all the time. And water really helps that. OK, so here we go. Um, obviously, talking a little bit of, about skin. So give me some uh, let's 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 chat first before I really get started and I lost. Okay, what are some of the things you love about your skin? And what are some of the things you wanna improve? Ready, set, go. I'm gonna give you a minute and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the things that I love about my skin and some of the things that I'd like to improve. So for me, overall, I feel the texture of my skin is good. I feel that um, it has a lot of elasticity. I know last time we talked about skin or we talked about the face, we also talked about um, guasa. I think um, that's a great technique to actually bring blood flow to the face. Um, I've been doing guasa, facial guasa now for a while and I really like it. I love the effects. So tell me in the chat, what are some of the things you love about your skin? And what are some of the things um, you'd like to improve? Improving, I find that if I don't sleep enough, um, I get dark circles under my eyes and that's a tough one. Um, really, you've gotta just 
I don't know, colds, maybe some good makeup, but there's really not a way to get rid of permanent bags, especially if you are um, not sleeping really well. I will tell you one of the biggest damagers or the two biggest damagers of skin are smoking and alcohol. And that's really tough. If you're a smoker or you drink a lot of alcohol on a regular basis, it really can damage the collagen in the skin and just create that kind of falling effect that you see with a lot of people and that kind of jowly look. You really want to try to avoid those. Other thing you want to really kind of do is keep your weight at a, at a kind of steady level, right? Because gains and losses can also cause sagging of the skin, especially as we age. Um, we really want to make sure, and I'm, I'm giving you, I'm rolling up the sleeve today. I'm telling you all the tips because we're really going to get into it. Skin is a big de deal. And as you know, it's a huge industry in the United States, really all over the world. People are obsessed with skin. They really want to make it look amazing. If, uh, if you've ever been to Korea or you, um, even if you've been to a Korea town in one of the U.S. cities, you see all our Japan, you see all the millions, really, literally, of skin products, everything from lightening agents to firming serums. There's all sorts of things that you can be doing to um, remedy um, your skin and to help it look a little bit better. Okay, so what are people saying in the chat? We, uh, I'm seeing, uh, what are they saying? I'd like to improve the dark spots, um, Swam B says. Sharon says, I get a lot of freckles, but at the same time, I barely get pimples. Okay, cool. So that's a good, a good one. Not, maybe not doesn't love the freckles. I actually have a few freckles myself. I don't think you can see them today. Um, I don't usually cover them, but it's just part of what I am. Um, Megan says, I love that I don't have pimples, but I have panda eyes. Yeah, sometimes circles under the eyes. Um, Pauline says, I feel my te skin texture is okay. I like to lighten the pigmentation and dark circles. Claire says, um, like my skin is having less pimples, improve on dark circles and dull skin. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit about dull skin. Um, uh, uh, Sharon also says dark circles, but I think it's genetic. I've tried a lot of products, but nothing seems to work. I got to tell you, I think me too, but really good. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about makeup. Even though we don't sell makeup, it really is a, 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 can be a, a game changer. Um, Wendy says skin is still okay, but a bit dry, a little pigmentation. And Irene says, I seldom have pimples, but have blackheads. Okay, so we're also going to talk about cleaning the skin, right? The other thing that I want to mention to you is we never want to over clean our skin, right? Our skin is not like, I don't know, a dirty pair of shoes that we can just scrub and scrub and scrub and try to get everything out, right? We have to be a little bit gentle with our skin, especially as we age. You know, I, I remember, and I think I maybe have told you the story, I remember going to um, a natural health event here. Uh, not here, but back in New Jersey, and um, running into a lady who really looked super wrinkly. And I don't think she was that much older than I was. During the course of the event, we were both speakers of the event, she revealed that she vigorously scrubs her skin every day. And I thought to myself, mm, not a good idea. Especially you tend to have very skin, thin or pale skin, depending on what your ethnicity is. We all know that um, skin with a little bit extra pigmentation can actually be a little bit more hardy. Doesn't mean it doesn't burn, but that uh, extra pigmentation in our skin tends to protect us from things like sun damage and also can make our skin a little bit, oh, so oilier skin takes tends to be a little bit more um, resilient to some of the, the bangs and bumps of everyday life. Um, so we're getting a lot of people um, talking about different sorts of skin issues. I'm going to keep going because hopefully your question will be answered. If you have questions as I'm going along, please put them in the chat. We really want to hear what you have to say. I'm going to talk first about moisturizers because this is a big one, right? Everybody talks about how, what do I do? What kind of moisturizer? How do I use it? So it's th really three types of moisturizers. Number one are the humectants. And these are the ones that draw water into the top layer of skin, while emollients help fill the cracks and seal in the water to provide a, kind of a smooth layer of skin, like a really smooth layer. And then they have your occlusives, and they're going to provide a thicker barrier to help with water loss. I want to give you a little bit more information about those. I should have given the slide first. So humectants act as a 
as a good first layer of moisture and are suitable for all skin types, including oily. They're also good for dry or thicker skin in climates that are very humid. So I'm thinking of my friends that are in Southeast Asia. If you live in a very humid climate here in uh, where I am right now, it tends to be very humid because we're right on the Gulf. Um, your skin actually is going to be a little bit better. Why? Because you've got a lot of moisture in the air. But that also means you probably don't need as thick of a moisturizer. So humectants could be exactly the thing that you need. When I think of humectants, the first thing that comes to mind is our Virage series. It's light enough weight when you're talking about um, living in a more... Um, a humid environment, it can be per the perfect protection for your skin. But don't go forego using moisturizer just because you live in a humid, cl humid climate. The other one are your emollients. These are usually oil-based, although they can be water-based also. Um, it makes the, fills the spaces in the skin and makes it smoother and just better, um, um, better hydrated, right? So you wanna think, when I think about that, I'm thinking about our body butter. So that's what I'm thinking about our whole body. You probably wouldn't want to put your body butter on your face. Um, the other thing I want to think about is... Um, you want to think about... Um, where are you, where are you placing the skin, right? Where are you, I'm sorry, where are you placing your, um, where are you placing your moisturizer? So the moisturizing series, we're gonna talk about the original moisturizers. So these are the OG moisturizers from doTERRA, excellent for mature skin and they're really gonna help you. Um, and the last ones that we're gonna talk about are occlusives. And I love occlusives. Don't usually put occlusives on my face. I would not put an occlusive probably on my whole body unless I was suffering some, from something really um, severe, like a very severe case of eczema or another skin condition that was very, very drying and disturbing to me. But you're thinking here more about like things like Correct-X. And even your body butter, I think, sometimes can fall into that uh, occlusive barrier because it does have sh that, that occlusive carrier category because it does have shea butter in it, which tends to work as an occlusive. There are other occlusives, of course. Um, some of the ones that we think about are the over-counter ones. They're usually um, petrolatum or petroleum based, and we don't really love those. And we want to make sure that we're definitely not using them over our entire body, right? Okay, so common skin issues, redness. This is a big one. People will talk about, I get so, you know, maybe uh, I don't know, you drink some coffee or you eat something spicy and then you get this redness in your skin and you just can't get rid of it. So it looks kind of like infl inflammation. People get it sometimes across their cheeks or they'll get it on their forehead. Maybe they'll get it on their chin. Um, ladies sometimes get it during that time of the month. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're breaking out, right? You're not necessarily having pimples, but just that redness that you just don't love and you go outside and you're feeling like, uh, this doesn't look like me. What do I love for redness? I love yarrow palm, number one on the hip rate. One of the reasons why I love yarrow palm so much is because it's an essential oil blended with a fatty oil, right? So the palm in the yarrow palm is actually pomegranate oil, gonna be super moisturizing to the skin. I have to say, I love that product. Okay, so now if you had to categorize it, would you call it a humectant, an emollient, or an occlusive? Ready, go. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody saying what they think it is. Yep, it can be either a emollient or an or humectant. Exactly, it's not an occlusive because it doesn't provide such a thick barrier, but it can fall into one of the two categories. So, um, depending on what skin type you're thinking about, 
If you have very, very dry skin, it usually works as an emollient. If your skin is a little bit more oily, it will act as a humectant. So great guesses. It actually falls into two categories. We know that our correct X falls into our occlusive category. Now, what about essential oils? Do they really fall into either one of those categories? The answer is a flat out no, okay? Why? Because essential oils have no fat in them and they don't really provide excuse me, they don't provide a barrier. What they do do extremely effectively is because they are micromolecules, they soak into the skin quickly and you can see wonderful skin effects from using any one of these essential oils. My two favorites when we're talking about um, uh, redness are frankincense and helichrysum. You can use those directly on your face, but I would use a moisturizer. Why? Because essential oils are drying. In fact, all essential oils are drying. Why? Because they tend to evaporate quickly. And what does that do? It whoop takes the moisture right out of the skin. When we think about evaporation, what are we thinking about? We're thinking about the evaporation of any sort of moisture or emollients, and that can be very tricky for skin. Okay, second, second common skin issues, scars. People have scars everywhere. Um, I had a surgery many years ago on my arm. I still have a scar. But by careful application of certain products, you really can begin to fade certain scars. Now, I'm not going to guarantee to you that your scar that's this long and was, you know, you had 400 stitches is going to disappear. That's not what's going to happen. But will it fade and will it become less red and less angry? Yes. And the other thing that I want to think about is kids, right? Kids fall down, they get all kinds of bumps and bruises and scratches on their knees. I know I was a kid who played in a park every single day. And when I used to fall down, I would frequently cut up my knees. And my father used to say to me, when you grow up and you're a young lady, you're gonna wanna wear dresses and stockings and you have the worst knees, they're just terrible. And to this day, I have to say, I don't have the most beautiful knees. They got really kind of banged up. I think my dad was sort of right. But because I've moisturized, 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 they're probably the best that they can possibly be. So now here's the other thing you want to think about when you're thinking about essential oils, especially when you're thinking about your body, right? You want to add some of these essential oils like your geranium, like your frankincense, like your neroli into your moisturizer. So when we're thinking about the unscented moisturizer that doTERRA sells, you could be adding in your geranium or in your helichrysum. You could be putting a dollop about the size of um, a small circle on your palm or the size of a, a coin, if you will, um, and then adding a drop or two of essential oil and then applying it over your entire body. Frankincense and neroli, especially your roll-ons. Well, frankincense comes singularly, but your two roll-ons here already blended with fractionated coconut oil. So you can blend them and put them directly on the scar. Don't be shy. You want to uh, keep applying, especially if you've recently had an injury. If it's a really old scar, folks, it may take a while, but you should begin to see improvements. And here's our yarrow palm one more time because it is so healing and um, really moisturizing to the skin. Okay, breakouts, this is a big one. And when we're talking about breakouts, a lot of people popped into the chat and said, I'm really concerned. I get pimples, I get blackheads. You wanna, number one, cleanse the skin, but not scrub the skin. So consider getting a professional facial, having them steam your face, remove any blackheads that you have. And then you're gonna have to really get into a general routine where you're washing your face on a regular basis. I know that living in a city, blackheads can be a really big problem, but I do find that if I steam my skin and then I use one of our um, scrubs for the face, I really do see a difference in my skin and in the blackouts, especially here kind of in the T-zone. That's where most people complain about having blackheads. Um, that kind of uh, steam, which opens the pores, and then using that micro scrubbing uh, action of our, of our um, um, oh my goodness, the, uh, the scrub, I, I can't remember the name right now. You're gonna, you're gonna really remove some of that dirt that's caked on in there. Not to say that you might not have to have extract, extractions first, and then be able to maintain your skin afterwards, but it's worth the investment. You really will see a difference. So breakouts. 
The other thing is go to your dermatologist. If you're having chronic breakouts, make sure that they're really diagnosing for you what could be the root cause of your breakouts. So your recommended products for us would be things like tea tree, which is a, a wonderful um, anti-inflammatory, your HD clear, which includes many healing essential oils and also acts as an anti-inflammatory. And finally, your rose. Now, rose does include of these three products, Rose does include fractionated coconut oil, but I think especially ladies, if you're over the age of about 20 or 25, these are the products that you're gonna to wanna to use. I would prefer to use my Rose if I was having breakouts at my age, cause I'm over the age of 25, than I would to use the HD Clear. HD Clear for me is gonna be just a little bit too, um, a little bit too much of a combination of oils. I need something a little bit more mild for me to maintain my breakouts. And use your Melaleuca, cleanse your face, use it with your moisturizer, you really will see a difference. Okay, brown spots. So these are discolorations, things we might call freckles, can be caused by sun exposure, aging, and other uh, hormonal pigmentation. People see um, brown spots really all over their body, mostly on the chest and on the face, on here on the neck, perhaps for the hands. Your hands can be a big indicator of your age. So I'm a big proponent of moisturize, moisturize, moisturize your hands. Now I tend to get manicures, as you know, and I get them on a regular basis. And if I haven't been moisturizing, my manicurist will say to me, oh, I see that you have not been using moisturizer lately because she can see right away that my cuticles don't look healthy and I have that kind of dry, like scraggly look all over my nails. Nobody wants that, right? What can you apply? I would apply your correct X if it's really bad around your cuticles. And then I would add in one of these four oils. I love frankincense. And look folks, frankincense for skin, it's like hand in glove. Think skin, think frankincense whenever you're thinking skin. And then you wanna think about black spruce and also sandalwood. And of course your lavender. Lavender is wonderful for skin. When we're thinking about brown spots, we want something mild, but we want something that we're going to be able to use continuously. Again, when we're talking about brown spots and we're talking about moisturizing, you wanna make sure you're adding these essential oils into another fatty oil. So you're either blending them with fractionated coconut oil and making your own roll-ons. And honestly, you could take these four oils, blend them in a roll-on yourself and then use them, or you could use them individually or add them to something you're already using. Okay, aging, okay? Everybody's worried about wrinkles. We get wrinkles here, we get them here. I tend to crinkle up my nose a lot because I wear glasses and I get, um, I wear glasses when I drive, so I need, I get them sometimes here. Sometimes I don't have my sunglasses on. I just have my regular glasses on. And that's another reason why I'm scrunching up my nose and getting all these wrinkles here on my nose. Fine lines, wrinkles, loose skin right here underneath the chin. We want to maintain our jawline as much as we can. The goal is to age more gracefully by using natural products to support the process. I, for one, don't necessarily want to go for a facelift. I, I don't know. I would be afraid, but some people may feel that that's the right choice for them. In the meantime, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to um, uh, maintain my skin and keep it vibrant and young. So let's talk about myrrh for a second. I'm going to skip over to myrrh because I think that's an important one. For those of you who didn't know, myrrh is actually a, um, a natural sunscreen. Now, I'm not advocating that you put myrrh all over your face and then go outside and bake in the sun or go to a, um, a beach. If you're going to the beach, you're probably going to need a commercial sunscreen or you're gonna have to really cover up and be super careful. Burning the skin, going out without sunscreen is really the number one cause of aging, especially on the face and exposed portions of the skin. Um, but for small during the day, you can use myrrh to really um, help with sunscreen um, as, a, as a, an, an adjunct to your um, sun, sunscreen usage. So here, but when we're talking about aging, you wanna use products that are gonna support, support, support the skin, right? Support the collagen. Now, when we talk about Immortel, Immortel does not have any fatty oils in there. Now, people have sometimes reported, I put Immortel here, there, and the other place, and then I didn't feel comfortable. My skin was just felt very irritated. Add your fatty oils in there, add your fractionated coconut oil, add your unscented moisturizer, do whatever it is you need to add your yarrow palm on top. 
but make sure that you're adding some sort of emollient to your Immortel when you're applying it. Neroli, Neroli is, we know hands down, a wonderful moisturizer. But again, the Neroli Roll-On has fractionated coconut oil, which is what makes it so emollient for the skin. I love the smell of Neroli. If you're not super crazy about it, you can blend in things like geranium, also wonderful to skin. You could take your Neroli and your myrrh and put that together. Make the combination that makes you feel good. And when you walk outside, you really feel wonderful. Okay, so now we want to talk about beauty from the inside out. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about makeup. I don't have a slide about it, but I want to just um, talk to you about makeup. Don't always feel that you have to wear your skin totally bare. You can use selective products to begin to, to disguise some of the things that you have in your face. I talked about having dark circles underneath my eyes. It's a real problem for me. In many beauty counters, they have um, corrective uh, under eye um, 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 uh, products that you can use. They come in tiny little tubes because you really, really need very little. And I use my ring finger because I've, I've been taught that that was the finger that has the least power. It's actually your weakest finger. And then I pat, 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 pat it on underneath my eyes. For my skin, because I'm very pale, I actually use something that has sort of an orangey tone to it. But some of the other colors that correct very well, depending on your skin, can actually be, and you're going to be shocked, blue, green, or purple. Now, how do you know? You're going to go to the beauty counter and you're going to ask, I need to cover this. What's the best thing for my skin? Don't be shocked if they show you a tube that really looks crazy and you think to yourself, mm, I don't think so. Try it. Bring it home. Use a tiny amount, literally like a pinprick, and dot, 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 dot it on. It really does help. So I use two things on, on my under, under my eyes, especially if I, I'm feeling like, oh my gosh, I haven't gotten sleep in a month. One is, like I said, an orange uh, tone, lightly orange tone, almost looks like the color of cantaloupe, if you will, or like um, calamine lotion, it's that orange. Um, and then on top, I use a little bit of a highlighter. So just, that's my trick, I have to tell you. It does open up the eyes, makes me look less baggy and saggy and not having so many brown circles. I have to say my sleep has been a little bit interrupted since I got to Houston because they're an hour behind. So I woke up the last two days at 5 a.m., but it's okay, I'm here and I'm with you, which is the best thing. Okay, um, beauty from the inside out. We always, always talk about the benefits of using um, uh, nutrition to support our skin. And as I mentioned earlier, your nutrition really does over time show up on your face. So things like smoking, eating poorly, um, not getting enough nutrients are really gonna eventually show up with you. Doesn't mean you can't change, you can, but you have to also be certain that you're going to um, make a concerted, a concerted effort. So the thing that I love, of course, are our, um, um, our three micronutrients in our lifelong vitality, Microplex BMZ, Alpha CRS, and of course, our fish oil. I love our fish oil. Why? Because it provides additional moisture inside. And um, I have to say, if I had one nutritional product that I couldn't live without, I have to say, I think that would be it. You're healing, protecting, revitalizing your skin, and your skin really reflects 80% of what's going on inside our bodies. So we've got some foundational skin nutrients here that you can see on the left, including things like um, vitamin C. And you know, people use vitamin C serums as a topical, but getting it inside is really important. Vitamin A, but you don't wanna to get too much vitamin A but just um, the, our um, uh, left lung vitality is extremely well balanced. And finally, vitamin D, but you can see there's tons of other things in here that will help you with your skin and help keep it vibrant. Anybody taking the LLV and seeing an improvement in their skin? Let me know in the chat, I really wanna hear. We've got a lot of people on today, I'm so happy. Um, tell me what you're taking from the inside out. Um, I'm definitely taking vitamins, have been a lifelong vitamin taker, I have to say. And I love, love, love the fish oil. I think it does wonders for my skin. Okay, talk to me. 
I haven't heard from, um, oh, so PN says me and I, my friends notice the difference. Uh, Betsy says, I do take LLV, I'm always sick, almost 60, but I feel younger than that. Yeah, getting the benefits from the inside out. Betsy, you're absolutely right. Megan says me, LLV improved my digestive system, keeps me super full. Okay, cool. Tell me about your skin. What have you taken? Which of the products have you taken that have improved your skin? If you had not great skin before and suddenly you have better skin, I really want to hear about it. Um, let's talk about continued internal support. Oh, Betsy's saying Yarrow Palm is the best. Amen, sister. I love the Yarrow Palm. I love the capsules and I love the serum. I use them both. And honestly, if I could just bathe in it, it's just amazing. Um, uh, let's talk about the capsules here. This is additional internal support. The Yarrow Palm Beauty Capsules containing grape seed oil, vitamin C, which is essential for collagen production, and melon. I didn't even know it had melon in there. My gosh. Enhances glowing skin. And um, Terrazyme supports proper elimination. Um, you know, we only eliminate from three different places, our respiration, um, so nose and mouth, right? Our digestive system and our skin. So we got, we have to clear up our chimneys, make sure our chimneys are working properly and we're able to get rid of everything we need to do. And Terrazon can actually work to calm angry red skin, for example, eczema. Now I am gonna mention something that uh, has come up several times. If you have very sensitive skin, you're going to have to be mindful if you're taking a lot of essential oils internally, if your skin begins to erupt, whether that is with acne or with eczema or some or other dry skin condition, part of the reason is that you will um, begin to see um, um, your skin reacting because it is a chimney and it may be drawing toxins out of your body. If that begins to happen to you, cut back a little bit, maybe go to a half dosage, and then you can um, begin to use little by little, ramp your way up. We always remember one to four drops whenever we're taking anything internally. Um, so Sharon says she loves Yara Palm. Wendy says, we'll try Yara Palm since greatly recommended. And um, uh, I'd love to hear more. Is anybody, has anybody tried the Yarrow Palm capsules? Do you like it? Here's the other thing. Yarrow Palm is not only great for the skin, it's great internally. So if you're taking the Yarrow Palm internally, you're going to see a lot of benefits. We talked about the other day that it's terrific for support for your cardiovascular system. Right? We want to keep everything young and supple. We don't want things to begin to become hardened like arteries inside of us. We want to keep everything young and supple. supple. Um, okay, let's keep talking. So two other ways we want to make sure that we are maintaining our skin is PB assist, right? We want to make sure that our microbiome in our gut is a healthy one. The pre and uh, prebiotics and postbiotics are Probiotics are an excellent combination to keep our digestive system running well. It does balance bacteria for optimal health and it soothes gut inflammation. And gut inflammation can be a really big problem, especially when we're talking about skin. Now, last but not least, but not, not even least, actually really most, is water, water, water. Now, I'm drinking this water bottle because I had to travel, so this is plastic. I don't try not to use pots in general. And what I love, and so with plastic, I'm not adding essential oils into my plastic bottle. Bad idea. Why? Because essential oils break down plastic. And if you have an essential, if you have a water bottle that's made of plastic and you put essential oils in there, it's gonna draw the toxins out of the plastic and where is that gonna go? Into your water. And so when you drink your water, it's gonna be in your water. Is there anybody who didn't know this? If you didn't know this and you just learned it now, tell me in the chat. I really want to know. Um, Shana says, I can't wait to try it, but I've given birth to my baby and need all the collagen back. Okay. Use your yarrow palm. Even if you just apply it to your skin, it really will help you. Betsy says, yarrow palm beauty pouch 
has all these oil serum and capsules. Got at least three of them was on special order. That's amazing. Um, make sure you're drinking about half of your body weight in ounces. Um, we can't, I can't really say. I'm drinking about uh, a liter and a half a day, up to about two liters. If you're drinking in glass, ceramic, or stainless steel, you can add essential oils as you wish. Again, monitor how much you're ingesting internally and make sure you're not seeing any sort of skin eruptions. If you do have sensitive skin, make sure you don't see a change, a deterioration because essential oils do cause those chimneys to kind of get unlocked. And how are you getting rid of the toxins in your body? You may see it coming through your skin. Okay. Um, so we've got obviously our Virage line with all natural ingredients, ideal for healing the skin, as good for aging skin. I, I have to say, I don't know if this is my first choice for aging skin, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just being perfectly honest with you. I know this is part of the, the marketing, I would say, for this particular product. I do like the serum and I do like the moisturizer, but I, in living in the climate that I live in, it's not quite enough for me in the winter time. When I'm in a warm climate, I can use this year round, but in the winter time back where I live, I need something a little bit heavier. Pamela says um, um, she's using the Yarrow Palm capsules and she likes, and Teresa says she's using the Virage for travel and summer, exactly. So now I'm traveling, I'm in a warm climate, I'll be using my Virage products while I'm here. Um, HD Clear, again, we're talking about using these whenever you've got any sort of blemishes or eruptions of any sort. Again, it's going to help to heal the skin and supports clear and smooth skin, ideal for acne prone skin. So I would try this. If you had oily skin, this would also be a, a great combo. I love that pump, that foaming pump uh, cleanser for um, washing my face. Sometimes I just wanna wash my face quickly with a little bit of water. And for me, that pump um, soap is terrific. I kind of pick and choose. I'm not a person who says, oh, I'll take all of this or all of that. And I feel like all the products work really well interchangeably. All the doTERRA products work really well interchangeably. So I like to be able to pick and choose and use different products. Here's my favorites, okay? I love these products and I use that hydrating cream in the winter all the time. I think it's really made a difference in my skin. My mother who's in her 90s has been using it, I wanna say probably about six or eight years from the time um, I first started in doTERRA or soon thereafter. I love the tightening serum. I have used the anti-aging eye cream. This is a really good set of products. If you're prone to blackheads, use the invigorating scrub and start using the facial cleanser on a daily basis. Make sure you're removing any makeup at the end of the day. And I think you're going to see a big improvement in what your skin begins to look like. Um, Teresa says it's also her favorite too. And she adds the yarrow palm and frankincense to the hydrating cream. The cool thing about this group of products is that each one smells slightly different because they've added different essential oils to each product. So some of them have geranium, others of them don't. Most of them have frankincense, but it's really interesting. When you open up the bottles, they all coordinate really well. They all smell delicious, but not exactly the same. The reason I think that that's important is because the essential oils that we see in each one of these products are specifically geared towards helping that area of the skin. So it's not like a perfumed product that you would buy maybe in a beauty counter because what they're doing is they're trying to get a uniform smell across all of the products. Important when we think about skin reparation, we wanna make sure that we're using products that are essentially geared towards that particular area. Not products that are just going to smell good because that's not going to fix our skin or help our skin, right? We need things that are geared toward what we need them for. Jacqueline says she loves the anti-aging products. Um, and Betsy says she loves the eye cream with the steel roller ball. I don't know if you can see, but the little um, uh, tube on the right-hand side has like a little metal ball. Now, I will tell you something. 
I, at first thought, it was a great idea to kind of press it on my skin and make the products come out, bad idea. What you wanna do is maybe press it on your hand, make sure the product comes out onto the top of the little ball and then gently roll the ball. And in the Gua Sa technique, you would be rolling it from the inner corner all the way out to the here to the temple and then maybe giving it a little bit of a wiggle. Light, light pressure, light, right? Because this skin under the eyes is super, super thin and fine and very delicate. You want to make sure um, that we're not pressing too hard. Um, if a 90-year-old lady gets tears from eyes without control, what products can be recommended? Um, Josephine, I, I think what you mean is that your eyes are tearing a lot. Yeah, we, I, I don't think this is necessarily for a skin product, but I would make sure that when she's using, she might try the anti-aging eye cream, um, but I would look that up in one of our apps. Okay, great question. In fact, what do we do if we have a, a question and we're just not sure? I always use the apps on my phone. I use the Essential Life app, which is now available on Android and on Apple phones, but I also use my, um, my books and I've got quite a few of them and I'll look through and I'll try to really find something. Um, uh, frankincense could be a great suggestion, but we really want to make sure that when we're looking up essential oils for specific problems, we're using a guide or a recommendation that either maybe we have a testimonial from a friend or from a colleague or from an upline, which is terrific, but we also want to make sure that we're looking up things in books because books are amazing references and doTERRA has a whole bunch of them that are terrific. Okay, so if I was doing this on a monthly basis, and obviously I am, I want to make sure that I were putting together um, uh, products for the inside, including the LLV, our Terrazyme, our PB Assist, then adding our Virage, and then adding in a few essential oils. So if you're looking for a 200 PV um, monthly special or a 100 PV monthly order, this can be, and you can take a screenshot of this if you would like make sure you're getting on a regular regimen. You're not probably going to have to buy all your Virage products every month, but some of them, if you're using them regularly, could wear out in the month. Your LLV, your Terrazyme, and your PB Cis, absolutely hands down, you're gonna need it. Here's the other thing. Are you using these products just on your face or using your face, your neck, your decolletage, and your hands, which is what I really recommend because you don't want to have this beautiful glowing skin on your face and your neck and then have these old crepey hands and people say, aha, I really know that she's 100 years old because I can see how old her hands are. We want to make sure that our hands look equally young and vibrant to our face, right? Okay. Let's talk a little bit about using, sharing, and teaching essential oils, right? Um, we know that there are three ways to share essential oils. We can um, we refer people. We can just get our essential oils paid for because we'll be getting back um, small, fast starts uh, checks on a regular basis, and that should be enough to cover our monthly um, expenditures of essential oils. We can enroll some additional friends, and that would help us to build up uh, an extra income. And finally, we can build a team to supplement or replace our, in our income. Um, if you want to pay for your product, it is going to take you about three to five hours per week. You can personally enroll a couple of people a month. And usually these levels include elite, premier, and even silver, depending on how many people um, you've been able to enroll and for what period of time you'd like to supplement your income. It's gonna be about 10 to 15 hours a week. You're gonna be enrolling four customers and maybe one builder per month. And these are the gold, platinum, and even sometimes the diamond level. When you first become a diamond, your check doesn't immediately like zoom up to that, uh, that nice robust number that's there. It may take a little time. Sometimes I, I call it reaching and then securing. So it takes you a little bit of time. And then finally, you can completely replace your income with 15 to 30 hours per week, enrolling eight customers and two builders. And how do we do this, folks, right? And I think that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to have a business class, I think, next week. Um, why, why does this work? 
we're talking to people on a regular basis, whether we're meeting new people or we're talking to our circle of friends, we're also getting out there. And I realize during COVID, we've had a lot of difficulty getting out and talking to new people. But the idea really is to stay connected to people. And honestly, there are a lot of people that do need support and a lot of people that are very lonely. Um, I think during COVID, we've become very um, isolated in many ways. We want to make sure that we're able to really connect with people, to continue to connect with them and reach out to them. They may be feeling the effects of isolation much more than you know. Um, whose life do you want to change, right? So when you think about um, your, the long-term effects of, of your being able to talk to other people, how are, the, how are other people affected by what you do? It's like a mission if you want. You're hosting your classes or your one-on-ones, but I would say the number one thing that you wanna do is you wanna make a list of the people. And I have a running list that I add to all the time. If I think, to, think, I, think of someone or I meet a new person, I'm always making sure that I'm um, talking about my products, talking about how um, doTERRA has been a life changer. It doesn't mean that I'm wearing a big t-shirt or shaking a banner at people all the time, but I think our mission on here while we're alive is to help other people and to keep them connected and to be connectors with other people. And I think that's a, that's a wonderful way to live. Um, what what to get your oils paid for, right? So um, here's the, want to get your oils paid for? Here's a couple of things that you can think of really quickly. Give your friend a sample of something. That's a big deal for them, not a big deal for you, of course. Think of things like sleep, headaches, digestion, pain, and stress. Here's the other thing. You just heard a great presentation about skin. Do you have a friend who has the same issue that you do? Do you talk to someone who frequently seems to be complaining about their skin or concerned about their skin? or maybe has been eating not a regular diet now during COVID and is really concerned about the way their skin looks. Um, many people have been stuck at home and many people are drinking a lot of alcohol and can be really tough on the skin. Um, tell them three cool things about essential oils. Tell them how to use them, maybe give them a sample, show them the kits and then set them on their way. I have to say, we talked about this last week. I was not usually a kit promoter, but I've been converted. It's kits, kits, kits all the way for me. I really love them and I think everybody loves them and they're really fun. So if you know somebody, encourage them, right? Encourage them to maybe get the Virage kit or get some of the other things that are really wonderful for them and for their health. Um, you know that you can sign up for free uh, training on dailymantracalls.com. Elise Shedevy is a triple diamond. The lady's a powerhouse. I love her. I think she's amazing. She's done so many good things and she and her husband work super hard. Um, to, you want to go through 50 days of quick training, I would strongly recommend this if you haven't done it already. It is very, very easy. Um, just go to dailymentorcalls.com and you can find out how to sign up. And you really, you just get a text right to your phone every day. It's amazing. And you kind of do something every day. And it really, it really, really works. So I wish that this had been around when I first started. It wasn't, but I recommend it to everybody who's just starting out. And I think you should too. We know that Greg Cook, one of our executive finder, founders is just a, a sweetheart. And he says, when you share doTERRA products, you bring hope and wellness to the people you love, your community, and ultimately the world. Selling the doTERRA way is about service, one drop at a time and one person at a time. We are serving the world with wellness solutions. Here's the last thing that I wanna mention. I feel that when we're using natural products, we're also keeping toxins out of our body because there are a lot of toxins in healthcare products. We know that um, many people um, have uh, been exposed to toxins from living in cities, from using non-natural either cleaning products or personal care products. The statistics for cancers, especially for um, workers that um, are uh, beauticians is staggeringly high. If you can possibly encourage someone to use a natural product to replace something that they're already using, that's high in toxins. Good on you, you're helping someone to become a little bit healthier. This is a conversation that I'm having with my daughter all the time. Don't use that, try to use something more, more natural because the reality is as a young person, you're gonna be absorbing toxins for years and years 
to come. Try to limit your toxin exposure if you possibly can. It really will help your health in the long run. And I'm talking about everything from face care products to hair care products, deodorants, they all count and they add up and they become, they kind of stay in our bodies and are not really gotten rid of that easily. And so when something looks too good to be true, or um, seems like it smells a little bit too de too delicious for words, it probably is too good for being true. Um, Teresa is reminding me that women use an average of 600 toxins on their body every morning. This is typical users. These are not doTERRA users, but everything from toothpastes to makeups to all different sorts of products. And look, folks, I know that you're going to use some products that have toxins. You, really, it's hard to avoid. I just explained to you what I'm using on my eyes. Uh, I use a tiny little bit. And when I'm not using makeup, I don't use it at all. But when I'm in front of you and I'm in front of a camera, I always have my makeup on, as you can see. But I love the idea that the other things that I'm using in my life are toxin free and really are keeping my body away from things that could build up and cause me problems in the future. Okay, we are officially done. I don't know if you have um, some questions, if there's something, questions about skin or um, what we've been talking about, um, talking about toxins. doTERRA is doing a whole um, anti-toxin, toxin-free push in the months, in the month of May. And I'd love for you all to be on board. We're gonna continue to talk about toxin-free. Um, next week, we're going to talk a little bit about goal setting. And I think we should talk about goal setting um, as it pertains not only to our doTERRA businesses, but perhaps in terms of our, our product use. What's our goals for ourselves? Are we setting doTERRA goals for ourselves? Um, uh, Shana says, I'm blessed to learn about doTERRA and use them now. I'm taking care for my girls, the next generation. Yes, exactly. So important. Let's look at our young people and make recommendations for them. Look, they may not listen 100% of the time, but I always feel like it's important for us to make an attempt because um, the things that they absorb in their bodies, we probably will never know. Um, chemicals from all different sources. We really want to make sure that where they can, they limit their toxin exposure. So that means clean water, clean air, clean products, everything that we put on our bodies, we put in our mouths, or some and the air, of course, that we breathe is absorbed by us and can become residue in our cells. We, um, uh, I've heard some really kind of sad stories lately about people that earlier in their lives worked in chemical plants or they worked for engineering firms where there was a lot of heavy metals. And uh, we know in cities, there's a lot of heavy metal residue in the air and in the water. So make sure that you're trying to limit your uh, chemical exposure as much as you possibly can. Okay, we're gonna say farewell for now to anybody who's listening on the live. For those, I'm sorry, anybody who's listening to the recording. So all my friends who are on YouTube, thank you so much for having been here. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. If you're on the live, stay tuned because I'm going to be giving away prizes. But I'm so happy we we're here um, this morning or this evening, wherever you're listening to me, and you were able to kind of give me some ideas about your skin and how it works for you. And I was able to give you a little bit of information that I hope is going to prove to be really useful. So um, on YouTube, have a great week, and we'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye now.